Nikki Chapman is one of the most well-known figures in the entertainment industry whose optimistic outlook, attractive personality, and commitment have helped her achieve great success. Nikki has made significant contributions to the television, radio, and music industries, but she has come dangerously close to death before. So, let's find out what happened to her. Nikki Chapman was born in Hearn Bay, Kent, on January 14, 1967. Her dad worked at Rank Xerox, while her mom stayed at home as a housewife. Chapman attended Canterbury's St. Anselm's Catholic School. Entertainment executive and musician Dave Shacky Shackleton is her husband, and they have been together for 23 years. However, the couple does not have children together. After a stint in the UK pop music business, Nikki now hosts radio and television shows, judges talent contests, and works as a public relations agency. She became famous after serving as a judge on the reality series Pop Stars and Pop Idol. As a TV host, she has been on BBC One's Wanted Down Under and Escape to the Country, as well as its spin-off, I Escaped to the Country. Nikki often appears on Sky News, BBC Radio 2, and Channel 4's Countdown. In addition to her work on Pop Stars with Nigel Lithgow and Paul Adam, she also worked as a judge on Pop Idol with Simon Cowell, Pete Waterman, and Neil Fox, all of which aired on ITV. She was able to secure her position as a TV host after becoming very popular with viewers, who made it simple for her to guest on several other programs. What happened to Nikki Chapman? Despite Nikki's enjoyment of her successful job and luxurious lifestyle, her life drastically changed in 2019 when she received a diagnosis of a non-malignant brain tumor. The fact that it had already developed into a little golf ball only made matters worse. Despite the shock of the news, Nikki had to face it and figure out how to recover. She explained that it all started when she could not talk, read, or even see things clearly. At first, she thought it was due to her age and tiredness, but when the symptoms got worse, she realized something wasn't right. Therefore, after discussing it with her doctors, Nikki decided to have surgery. Having said that, the procedure had a good probability of leaving her permanently mute, blind, or immobile. Her operation went down without a hitch, and her husband was there for her every step of the way, providing her with unshakable support. In addition to Dave's strong, unconditional affection and encouragement, Nikki's optimism was a significant factor in her successful recovery. In spite of this, there is still a possibility that her tumor may occur again. As a result, her health was always being examined by the doctors. Even doctors were taken aback when she made the announcement in 2022 that she was tumor-free. In an interview, Nikki said that her consultant called her while she was shooting Escape to the Country, telling her that her brain tumor was gone. The scene took place in a field of pigs. It was the most crucial news she had ever received, and she quickly called Dave to give him the good news. The news caused them to literally break into tears upon hearing it. At that moment, she considered herself lucky and fortunate, but felt bad for other people fighting the same battle. It had been five years since Nikki's brain tumor operation, and she posted about it on Instagram. She had stated in the post that she felt grateful since her tumor was gone. She went on to say that she was sorry for those who lost the fight against the illness and that she wished the best of luck to those who were suffering from it. Even though Nikki keeps her personal life away from the screen, she decided to share her story with the world to support and encourage people going through similar battles. She claimed that she had always remained positive throughout her illness and that her love for nature had also played a role in her recovery. So where is Nikki Chapman now? It seems that Nikki hasn't stopped her passion for hosting shows and working as a presenter. She has also become more interested in charity work as she participates in many social organizations to deal with social problems. Likewise, having gone through a disease like a brain tumor and surviving it, Chapman works with tumor awareness campaigns. Through these campaigns, she wishes people to get examined at an early stage and get treated before the condition gets worse. She is now living her life to the fullest and is grateful for everything she has achieved so far.
She and her husband lead a lavish life away from the limelight at their beautiful Chiswick house. So, that's all for this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.